Here are the financial costs and financial benefits of a project investment. The project shows an immediate major capital investment of €100,000, which is represented in Year Zero. There are recurring annual costs of €10,000. Benefits begin to accrue in Year One, firstly of €25,000, increasing to €65,000 by Year Four. Time to Payback, or just Payback, is an approach to investment appraisal which asks how long will it be until we get our money back on the investment that we have made? This question is answered by accumulating the net benefits of the project. We first calculate the net benefits for each year, benefits minus costs, and this row has been added to the table. You can see in year zero the net benefits are minus 100,000, which is zero minus 100,000. In year one, plus 15,000 which is 25,000 minus 10,000, etc. We then accumulate these net benefits for the project. So in year one, the cumulative benefits are minus 100,000 plus 15,000, which gives minus 85,000. In year two, minus 85,000 plus 45,000, which gives minus 40,000. In year three, minus 40,000 plus 45,000, which gives plus 5,000. And in year four, plus 5,000 plus 55,000, which gives plus 60,000. You can see that in year three, the cumulative benefits become positive, and so the project investment is said to break even or pay back in year three. Projects may be compared against an organizational requirement. For example, all projects must pay back within two years. Or payback may also be used as a way of comparing projects. Those projects that pay back the soonest are selected. The argument for payback is that projects that pay back the soonest produce faster growth for the company and enhance liquidity. Also, choosing projects which pay back quickest will minimise those risks associated with time. Predicted benefits that only emerge in the distant future are usually disregarded by a payback calculation. On the negative side, payback rarely recognises the time value of money as explicitly considered in discounted cash flow and net present value calculations. However, even if time is taken into consideration, break-even analysis never considers cash flows that take place after the break-even point. So projects which may be more profitable in the long term are not selected because they fail to pay back as quickly as other ones. So payback is not really a measure of the overall worth of the project, it is a more a measure of its liquidity 